I have an insulin pump and see a specialist nurse uh, and I'd said to her that I would be more than happy to do any research that they wanted doing uh, and one day when I went there was a form there would I join the a research for the artificial pancreas didn't know anything about it I said yes, and then I think I thought afterwards, why ever did I say yes? Uh, it took quite a long time, three months in all, to complete it. But after I'd finished it, I felt that this was going to be the way forward. The computer decides how much insulin you need. And when I saw the graphs afterwards, it was a nice smooth line. Um, which showed my blood sugars weren't going up and down all night. And the next day, my blood sugars, my blood glucose levels were a lot better. For me, it's very important that people support Diabetes uh, UK um, so that the money can go towards research, um, especially, I feel, for children, um, the future generations, we need to take away all the anxiety of um, using needles and uh, how to count calories and how, to, how many insulin units you need for so many calories. We need to get away from all that so that children aren't different from their uh, friends that surround them. Um, and I'm sure, especially with the artificial pancreas, this could take all that anxiety away. Diabetes UK has helped me to uh, test various ideas, really for the benefit of people with diabetes. Over the years, my research funded by Diabetes UK has made a difference to people with diabetes through saving eyesight and through returning them to health from the state of early type 2 diabetes. That's really quite a dramatic step forward. The work that we're doing funded by Diabetes UK is uh, to look at trying to prevent um, foot ulcers in patients with diabetes. Um, so we're doing that by giving them pressure insoles that they're placing inside their shoes and this is giving them feedback on the foot pressures that they develop, which is key really to them developing these foot ulcers. Without the support of Diabetes UK, we wouldn't have been able to run this, this what we believe is a very important project. And hopefully, uh, a few years down the line, when we've conducted this research, this can make a huge impact to the lives of many people with diabetes. Thanks to Diabetes UK funding, support, encouragement and advocacy, we've been able to establish the UK Islet Transplant Consortium. Through Diabetes UK funding, we've been able to show just how effective this can be in absolutely preventing life-threatening hypoglycemia when no other treatments have been effective, as well as restoring really impressive overall glucose control. We firmly believe that this collaborative work will soon lead to a series of further breakthroughs. First, attainment of really sustained freedom from insulin after a single transplant, and then approaches which no longer require long-term full immunosuppression. Ultimately though, we hope that our work will inform non-transplant therapies, enabling regeneration of the person's own pancreas and a future without type 1 diabetes.